Want to hook up your SATA drive to your computer via USB? Stay tuned. So over the years, I've accumulated quite a few SATA drives. Uh, here's a uh, three and a half inch spinning hard disk drive, uh, two and a half inch SSD drive, and finally over here we have a, a two and a half inch uh, spinning hard disk drive. Historically, if I wanted to read the content of a drive, uh, format or wipe a drive, I would just connect it up to one of my lab computers. Um, that said, I wanted an easier way of uh, getting access to these drives. So I'm going to give uh, one of these uh, Benfei SATA to USB 3.0 adapters a try. I'll put a link of this one in the description below. So I purchased the version that supports uh, both 2.5 and 3.5 inch drives. Uh, looks like the major difference appears to be the additional uh, 12 volt uh, power adapter. Uh, this is to support the 3.5 uh, inch drives that uh, draw more power. Uh, looks like the adapter just uh, plugs in right there. And these uh, SATA drives are usually connected up via two cables. So the uh, smaller one is for the data. And the larger one is for the power. I'm going to start with the uh, three and a half inch hard disk drive. Um, the uh, three and a half inch drives do require the power adapter. I'm going to be using my Windows 10 laptop with uh, USB 3.0. Okay, first let's plug in the adapter. It only goes in one way because of the way it's keyed. Next, I'm going to plug in the power adapter. Okay, you could definitely hear the drive spin up and let's plug it in. Okay, sounds like Windows recognize the drive. Let me pan up just real quick. All right, looks like Windows does indeed see the new drive. <laughs> it's definitely one of my older ones. Uh, let's see if we can pull up one of the documents in here. This looks like a uh, PDF. That looks to pull up fine. And let's copy some files onto it. And now that the uh, folder has been copied over, let's make sure we can open up these files. Okay, initial test looks good. Let's eject the drive. Okay. And then uh, next, uh, the documentation says to uh, remove the power supply or unplug it. And uh, unplug it from USB. Uh, next, let's test out a two and a half inch hard disk drive. Uh, these two and a half inch drives uh, do not require the uh, power adapter, so I just unplugged it. So let's plug in the drive. And plug it in. Oh, you can hear it spinning up. Hey, okay, looks like Windows did indeed recognize the drive again. Let's check it out. All right, I could see the content of the drive. Let's see, let's check out some logs. Looks like the uh, graphics logs. 
and let's run through the same test of copying the tools folder over let's replace it out Oops, same deal looks like we could pull up the file and also there was a uh, PNG looks good uh, let's eject the drive and unplug it from USB and finally let's try out a, a two and a half inch SSD drive And looks like this one has multiple partitions on it. Uh, let's just make sure that we're able to access some files. Got some logs. And let's try copying some files to it. Okay, the files are also accessible. Okay, uh, let me do some additional tests and I will give you my follow-up. So I've been using this adapter for about a week or so and I've pulled hundreds of gigs of data off these old drives and also D-band one. Uh, no issues. Uh, the only limitation that I saw was it didn't work uh, with this particular uh, DVD-ROM drive. Uh, that said, I, I don't know if that's by design. But other than that, it uh, worked perfectly. Uh, no issues and extremely easy to use. Um, Alright, uh, if you happen to uh, like this video, uh, please consider clicking like and becoming a subscriber. Thank you.